what is up YouTube today I got another tutorial for you and this one does involve a little bit of coding but it's not too bad um, this one is a actually it's another request I got and the uh, person who requested it wanted to have a toggable flashlight that the player could use so basically you press F turns the flashlight on you press F again and it turns it off cool so how do we do this? Well, the first thing it's pretty simple. Um, right on our first person controller here, um, this one I got from the Unity Asset Store as part of the standard assets pack. You guys can get that for free. It comes with a bunch of stuff. Um, probably the best thing it comes with is actual setup first person controller you can use. So on our first person controller, let's expand it and right click on the character because that's where our camera is and we're going to add a spotlight to our uh, character and this is really nice because it adds it right where the camera is looking so it basically is like right in front of you at all times and it uh, looks really nice cool um, I'm actually gonna rename this call it flashlight and uh, we do get an error from an indirect multiplier so let's just take that off make it zero get rid of that error I'm not sure why it does that but uh, it just does um, on real-time lights Cool. Um, so what we can do from here is we can actually adjust the intensity, uh, spot angle, all that stuff. Really depends on what you guys want. Um, I found that at least for my game, an intensity of around seven and a spot angle of around fifty works pretty good. Um, the range, I, I'll just keep it at ten. You guys can change that. As you can see, it kind of you know adjusts the range there. Um, the color, I kind of like going with a more kind of grungyish yellow color, kind of gives it like an older style flashlight feel and one other cool optional thing you guys can do to give your flashlight a little bit more kind of realism is you can put a cookie on there so on our flashlight this spot for cookie let's take this and drag it right in there and as it, as you can see instantly it just makes it look more realistic um, this cookie I'll leave a link for in the for, uh, for you guys in the description if you want to download this you can um, if you guys download it, because I'm not sure, um, if for whatever reason the texture type isn't cookie, just make sure it is. So just click on it and make sure the texture type says cookie or else it's not going to work. Awesome. So we have our flashlight in there. And let's just go ahead and play this, see how it looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, like I said, you guys can adjust that if you want. If you want to dim it, make it more bright. It's really up to you. Awesome, but how do we toggle this? So to toggle it on and off, we are going to need a little bit of code. So let's create a new C Sharp script, and I'm just going to call this Flashlight. Cool, so let's go ahead and open this in uh, Visual Studio. All right, cool. So the first thing we want to do is under the public class, let's add a serialized field. And what this is going to do is actually create a drag and drop for our light, which you'll see in just a bit. Um, and it's going to be up type game object, and let's call this flashlight light. Um, now I can't call this flashlight because if I call this flashlight, it's going to interfere with interfere with the actual name of the script, and it's going to confuse the hell out of Unity, and it's not going to work. So let's call it flashlight light. Um, you guys can call it whatever you want; doesn't really matter. Just don't call it. You know, don't call any game object the same name as your script, otherwise it's uh, not going to work. I learned that the hard way. Uh, let's make a public, sorry, a private bool, and this is going to be flashlight active, and we're going to make this false. So basically, a bool is basically a, a true or false, and Unity is going to check to see if whether this flashlight is on if it's true. And if it's off, it's going to equal false. So we're going to use that in just a second as well. Awesome. So under the void start function, we're going to say flashlight light, which is our actual game object, the light we just made, dot game object dot set active. And we're going to make this false to begin with. Now, if you guys want your flashlight on when the game starts, just make this true. Um, I personally think it's better when it's off. That way, um, the player is forced to turn it on when they need it. And under the update, this is actually where we're going to make it. So if you press F, it turns on. And if you press F again, it turns off. Cool. So let's let's uh, 
do a couple if statements here. So I'm going to say if and leave a little space. You don't have to. I just think it looks cleaner. Uh, input dot get key down and key code is going to be F. So this is basically saying if the user presses the F key on the keyboard, and we're going to need one more if statement. If they press that, and if the flashlight boolean is false, so we're going to say if they press their keyboard, I got to spell that right, and if the flashlight is already turned off, then we can say, um, let's uh, leave a little space there. We're going to say uh, flashlight um, light dot game object dot set active uh, true. Okay, and last thing we need to do is change that boolean from false to true. Flashlight active equals true. So basically, what we did there is we said if the user presses F and the flashlight is already disactivated or false, meaning it's not turned on, let's set it to true so that the flashlight turns on. And the last thing we need to do is create an else statement and say else, if the user basically presses F again, um, actually to make it easier, we can just copy and paste this right here, and set it to false. So basically, when F is pressed for the first time, flashlight turns on, else, if they press F again, this is just another fancy term for saying, like, um, you know, the opposite of what you want to say here, basically. Then you turn the flashlight off. And that is pretty much it, guys. Um, let's go ahead and save this. And let's go back to Unity. And take our flashlight script that we just made and drag it onto the first person character where our light is. Click on that. And if we. Oh, I got an error there. What am I missing? Serialize. Oh, <laughs> um, spelling is very important in coding, guys. <laughs> which I've also learned the hard way. If you guys spell literally anything wrong, which Unity is nice enough to tell you, but uh, yeah, stuff won't work. So make sure you spell right. And as you've noted by now, I am a horrible speller. But anyway, now our uh, now our serialized field is here. This is what serializing a field does. It actually allows you to create a uh, bar that you can drop stuff into. So we want to drag our flashlight that we made, our light, into there. And now let's play this and see what happens. Awesome. So as you can see, our flashlight is off. We press F, and look at that, guys. It turns on. Press F again, it turns off. Press F again, it turns on. Off, on, off, and on. Awesome. So if you guys like this tutorial, uh, please hit the uh, bell icon to uh, stay up to date. Stay up to date. Um, drop a like and subscribe for more and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.